coffee. Is it yeah. Welcome to the Bourbon Coffee Fresh Roast SR540 uh, demo. These are a new generation fresh roast. Very exciting for everybody. They're about a four to five ounce roaster by default. Real quick, real easy. Um, we're always proponents of weighing the bat size. We've got a nice little easy view scale here. So sorry, usually I'd recommend about four and a half ounces. You may be able to do a pinch more. You may want to take a pinch off in some cases. But four and a half smack dab in the middle. There we go. Now the roaster is very simple. It's three parts. You got your base here. You got your roast chamber. And next to it here we got our chaff collector. There's a little skin salt chaff that'll come off the coffee during the roast process. Good to remove it from the heat. So real nice, easy. We pop in our coffee. We put our chaff collector right on top. Now we turn it on. Once we're on, you have four digits on the LCD. The first one is fan speed, one through nine. The second one is heat, one through nine. And the last two are uh, uh, up to a 20 minute timer. I always recommend starting on high fan, medium heat, uh, and usually about 15 minutes. So the total roast time for this guy will be somewhere between about 5 and 15. 15 is on the long end, 5 is on the short end. So once you've got your coffee in, you've got your initial settings going, you just hit the roast button. Now with all batches, it takes a sec uh, for the beans to settle in, start losing a little bit of weight and moving really good. So usually I have to put in a coffee, wait about 60 seconds, maybe two minutes, uh, before turning the heat up more. Although this roaster keeps it real nice and easy, it is a matter of waiting a couple minutes, changing the settings, waiting a couple more minutes, changing the settings. But because it's so quick, usually it's, it's well worth all the effort you're going to put into it. These roasters can smoke a little bit. They're good to have vented. It's still top vent to the outside. That's all you really need with it. Uh, but if you don't have good ventilation, it will set off your smoke detectors. Some people use them out on patios, three season rooms. Just watch it. You can't run them on extension cords. They're very high draw devices. They need every bolt. And at cold temperatures, they'll struggle with a little bit. Anything below about 50 degrees, you're going to see far extended roast times. Now we're about a minute into the roast. We're getting some good movement. It's an easy time to want to turn up the heat. So as you can see, we're now on high fan, high heat, about a minute and change into the roast. These guys are so quick, you're already starting to see the coffee yellow out a bit. Went from a nice green, we'll have to tell about a yellow. One of the neat features of this new generation fresh roast is that when you don't have anything selected, you spin the knob, you get an air temp readout. Not bean temp, air temp, but it gives you some good indicators. First crack will happen at a, a give or take 400 degrees. So you know you at least got to get to 400 degrees before you'll see first crack happen. You can read the LCD, we're just at about 400 right now. So as soon as we start seeing good movement, we can knock it down one, but we might hear a couple pops in first crack if we get left it at this temp for long enough. First crack can always be picked up. You're already seeing it grow a little bit. It'll grow a little bit before first crack. And then as soon as you hear first crack or you see it, uh, the chaff will come off and you'll get a larger expansion in size. The coffee will be sitting up almost 100% higher than it was sitting when you first turned on the machine. Every coffee's got to get to that point. It's a little warmer. Now we're at about 410 degrees. So most likely we'll see first crack without turning down the fan speed too much. At any point, if you want to get off the temp readout, you just hit the button. takes you back to your settings. You can now see it's about three minutes into the roast. So 
We'll give it about another minute, and then we'll reduce the fan speed. We'll try and go a little quicker for demonstration purposes. Depending on what you like, though, going too quick can leave the coffee oven a little more acidic, a little sharper, a little sweeter, a little fruitier most of the time, but it depends what you're shooting for. install movement too much and it might take about 30 to 60 seconds to get moving just as good as it was before you turned on the fan speed. And you want to make sure to do this incrementally. It's crucial to, to a nice even rest that the beans keep moving. We want to get to a dark roast quickly. It's good to get it up to about 450. That'll progress you very quickly towards the dark roast point. 438 though is nice. We're already going pretty quick. We're about five and a half, six minutes into the roast. And we're already at the light roast point. Once the chaff starts coming off, these roasters work by trapping heat. So once you get the chaff in the top, it does cause slight blockage, which will get the roaster hotter and hotter. You see that the temp is still rising slightly, especially as that chaff comes off. Just keep it in mind, sometimes if you're doing a real chaff-heavy coffee, it's good to actually raise back the fan speed after first crack, unless you want to go really quick. Start at 15 minutes, there's now 8.3 left on the timer. We're almost approaching 7 minutes for the roast. Usually I try and shoot for about 7 to 15 minutes for the sweet spot, depending on what I'm looking for. For demonstration purposes, we'll take this right up to touching second crack. So to get it there a little quicker, yet again, the coffee's moving real much. It's been increasing the further we go into the roast. Changes down to fan seven. Now we can watch the temps. We're just getting over 450. The coffee's still moving. The last step here is going to be to watch Intel with whatever else we want, and then you just hit the cool button. Once you hit the cool button, the fan controls are still active, so you want to turn it back up, let it cool it a little quicker. Pretty nice Panama coffee. We don't want to take it too dark or we're going to risk it getting a little bitter. We're just looking for a little sheen on the surface. You hear more like Rice Krispie sound cracking. That's second crack. First crack's a little more like popcorn. <laughs> Turn it up. 
You can hear a little cracking, that's sucking crack. It's just starting. The cool mode on this uh, is displayed as in the time setting. Right now it's on C3. It's a three minute cool cycle. Go to C2, C1, then it'll shut off automatically. Once it's shut off, the chaff collector can still be a little warm. You know, so I might want to give it an extra minute. But then you can disassemble the, the machine. You clean the chaff collector by just brushing it out. As soon as it's back down to room temperature, you can fire it up again. This machine's basically a quarter pound machine. You can sneak in a pinch extra. For most households, you're going through give or take a pound a week. Usually about three to four batches a week uh, to take care of all your consumption. You can do it all in one day. You can break it over into multiple days. Roast every other day. Folks like to uh, do it different ways. But this machine is pretty easy to uh, take care of a household of three to four coffee drinkers without running it constantly. Everybody here loves to use these guys because they're just so quick and easy. finished up. The hardest part of waiting for it to shut off once you know you got some good coffee waiting for you. We've well, got a stellar deal on these guys. $189, brand new, comes with free shipping, free coffee. Make yourself some of the world's best coffee, a great tool to, to, for your home roasting needs. There we go. Now it's shut off. Remember the top can be a little hot still. Chaff on the inside, you can see a little paper-like substance that just needs to be brushed out in between batches. When you're done, you just pour a nice tray, bowl, container. You want a room temperature, non-airtight. Got some lovely beans. Take about 15 to 20 minutes to cool back down to room temperature and you're good to fire it up again.